Why is it then that we think we can share ourselves with other things other than the, and not the Holy Spirit? Why is it that we think that we can come to church on Sunday and say, fill me up, but we don't have the courage to say, fill me up on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We don't have the courage to have the quiet time. We say, oh, Keith, you don't know what life's like, and now you're beating me up and condemning me. No, I know it's hard. I used to have a real job where I wasn't paid to pray. I know what it's like to have to do commutes. I know what it's like to have to work overtime. I know what it's like to work shifts and, and, all, and all these kind of things that happen. I had real jobs before I had the pleasure of being uh, a church pastor. And there's something within the strain of and pace of life today where we will say, well, of course we have to spread ourselves out, of course. And all we want the Holy Spirit to do is to get us through the day. If the Holy Spirit can get us through the day, then we've had a good day. My friends, he doesn't want to get us through the day. See, being filled with the Spirit and having the Spirit in our lives is not about surviving. It's about being a conqueror. It's about being more than a conqueror. It's about being someone who is not walking around with their nose in the air and everything, and I'm more than the conqueror and getting filled up. But someone who's practically a conqueror is someone who has solutions at work, has wisdom in the home, has the answer for what is going on at that time and is able even to discern the future for what, I'm not mean a spooky way, but some of your companies that you work for are asking questions about how to get out of recession and the answer is in their company and the answer is sitting in this church and the answer is sitting in your heart and it's the Holy Spirit. And, and you, sometimes you'll think you have the craziest ideas at work and yet God is speaking to you, and if you would just take some of those ideas even to those above you, or even try a little experiment. This is even, might even be a word of the Lord for some of you. Some of you need to go away and just set up a little experimental task force at work and say, we want to try this, and if it works, can we roll it out and rest the companies? The salvation for some of your companies is right there in you because the Holy Spirit resides in you. You're all sitting there going, really? But of course, yes. If you work in a factory, it's about seeing how production can be increased for no extra cost. That's a revelation of God. Where do you think that comes from? Trust me, you're not that smart. It's a revelation of God. Some of you are just seeing things happen in the family, thinking, what's the answer? And, and the Lord's saying, if you just stop sharing yourself with other things, then you can have it all. Isn't that wonderful?